What's good YouTube? This is Maxwell and today I'm going to show you guys how to pick skin tone in Photoshop. Most beginners have this as issue, even I too have it a lot. Like for some time now, I still really have it until I figure out a way of how to how to pick the skin tone. You know, I created this skin tone for you guys to be using of which I'm really creating another one right now. But in most cases, those skin tone might not really match exactly what you are trying to paint. And you don't really have to force in those skin tone to match what you are painting because it might just give an absolutely different feel to your artwork. And what if your client says, I want the skin tone that on the picture I'm giving to you, exactly that skin tone. How are you really going to do that? So today I bring up three reasons, three steps which you will be using to pick the skin tones of three ways you'll be using to pick skin tone of a particular photo inside of Photoshop. So um, what I'm really going to tell you, this might not really work on all image, but I'm very, very sure out of 100%, I'm giving you 80% that yes, it's really, really going to work so the first step i'm going to be giving you is to eyeball your skin tone when i mean eyeball your skin tone make use of your eyes to pick the skin tone on the artwork just without the help of any other stuff inside of photoshop so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new layer right here on, above the image layer and i'm going to grab just um a hard round brush just like that and I will zoom in closely to the image or I will zoom out and try to look the image very well. Now, if we try to look the image, I already showed you guys how to figure out the light and the shadows on your artwork or your photo. So if I'm trying to get the skin tone or to eyeball the skin tone on this artwork. Now, if I get to see, we have the light. So the light is practically coming from what? the upper part of this image which is coming from the upper part um, upper right or upper left if i'm correct or something above a little bit straight forward just like that that's where the light is coming from so we can clearly see the light coming from here now if we wish to pick the skin tone we just have to look closely now let's zoom in so we have a little bit of dark right here and this is the light and this is just between the dark and the light so this is from the neck if we try to go up to the face so this is the light this is the mixture of the light and the shadow and this is the word the shadow which is the word these three marks shows that what this is the shadow the highlights and the mid tones of the word the skin tone so now with the hard round brush and on the new layer i'm just going to create a new layer too so that these marks I give will remain. And from there, I can pick from this one. Your sample from there. And um, I'm just going to paint roughly right there. And I can pick from this and paint roughly right here. And lastly, and I can come down to this part and then just pick and also paint roughly right here. So now you can see that we actually get this skin tone so let's try to match this skin tone so let's grab from that part and let's paint over here now that's a little bit close so we can just say we try to brighten it up a little bit just like that but you have to know that it's not really going to match the skin tone the way it is here because we have a lot of textures and most of those textures are taking in a lot of light so it's not really going to match the way it is then you can be able to tweak this skin tone yourself just to add up some varieties to <clears throat> the skin tone like grabbing it and making it a little bit lighter from your color picker just apply a little bit and this you can make it a little bit kind of like saturated i'm just going to pick the skin tone and add a little bit of red to it and I'm just going to drop it right here. That's that. And pick on this one to add a little bit of 
red to it to saturate it a little bit so you can see what we have now as the skin tone so the second way i'll be giving you on how to speak how to pick a skin tone how to speak how to pick how to speak how to pick how to speak <laughs> okay and the second way i'll be giving you on how to pick skin tone in photoshop it's by making use of the filter gallery most of you i used this in the last video i did where i showed you guys how to paint and blend shadows in photoshop um, so we are going to be making use of the filter um for now i'm just going to hide these layers because we don't need them anymore and hit on control zero to fit my image to the screen then i'll go up to filter filter gallery and boom just make sure you are selecting the image go up to filter filter gallery and this time i'll make use of go up to the artistic folder and make use of the cutout but wait let's check out the poster edge so now the poster edge help us but we've got a lot of stuff that's really really going to confuse us so we don't really want to make use of the poster edge so select the cutout now you can see that what the cutout has given us exactly three skin tone which is a, which is what we really really want so with that including the hair color it really breaks down every color for us but we are not really after the colors of the hair and the colors of the spaghetti uh, what am i going to call it spaghetti clutch is putting on just that way so once you select the cut out just hit on ok now this is what we have so let's compare let's put it let's bring back the previous skin to a peak i'm going to create a new layer again then this is the word the mid tone let's put it that way okay this is the highlight let's put it that way let me make use of the pressure and let's pick do we really have to this is the darkest part of everything so let's use this as the shadow so pretty cool let's turn off the image layer and i'm going to unlock that i'm going to hide that create a new solid color below, below. set that to somewhere around um let's say something a little bit okay why should be okay click that and take this layer above so let's really see what we have here so this is our mid tone and this is the mid tone of the coloring this is our shadows and this is the shadow of the filter gallery sorry to say and you can see we are almost close with all these stuff right so we are going to grab this and put it right here now you can still repeat the same process of tweaking it the way you just tweak the ones you pick it's really really okay you can just do it any way you really want it to be so the last method i'm going to be giving you here it's making use of something more precise and accurate which we already have in photoshop that most of us might not have really know or use or we might have seen it but would not really know how to make use of it or have the idea that we can make use of it to pick a skin tone inside of photoshop well you are going to know that now and you're going to learn how to make use of that now so we just did something a little bit wrong which we are not really supposed to do our image will just create something destructive right and then i really don't know where to find this image really bad so what i'm going to do in order for me to save those colors i'll just go up to windows and then open up my swatches right then what i'm going to do i'm just going to Grab the color picker, pick these colors. I'm just gonna put the new swatches, click OK, pick this color, new swatches, click OK, pick this color, new swatches, and click OK. So we are going to bring back, we're going to bring that later. So what I'm going to do, I'll go up to the history panel and whoops. Wait, 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 wait. Let's take this back, take this back, 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 back. Okay so now we've got back we've gotten back our image and color and the previous color we have there so now i'm going to create a new layer and grab the brush to hide around brush now we can pick from here then we can paint pick this one and we can paint and pick this then we can paint did you guys just notice anything i just showed you guys how to create a color swatch right but anyway that's not part of this video i'm going to make uh, a video on that how to make your own color swatches and export it inside of photoshop but anyway let's keep that for now so i'm going to turn off the eyes of those layers 
Now, like I said, the last step we are going to be using to pick skin tone inside of Photoshop is the color range option. Wow, this is pretty, pretty precise and accurate in picking skin tones right inside of Photoshop. So, when you have your image, make sure that you are selecting the image. Doesn't really matter if you convert it to layer zero or you convert it to the background layer. Doesn't really matter. Just go over to select and scroll all the way down to you get to see the color range option. Click on that and this is what you are going to do for now this slider is not really really your problem is because you are not really making use of the sliders but if you are going deep into photo editing and some kind of precise selection you can make use of this slider of which i'm not really going to be touching these sliders and the preview mode is not really really your problem because it's really going to give you what you want at this point so what we are going to be working with is just this select menu and the ok button just these two have that in your mind stick that in your head write it down on the paper if possible write it down in photoshop so click on the drop down menu and first depending on the one you want to work with this is what we are going to be working with and this if you just hit on the word skin tone it's going to select all the skin tone generally and that might really really confuse you so we don't really want to make use of that First, I'm going to work with the highlights. So I'm going to click on the highlights. Now, if you look at the selection, you can see that the lighter part is white and white darker part are black, which is really telling us that the parts that are white are the selections, while the part that are dark are the parts which are, which are, which has not been selected. So now that you've done that, select the highlight, click on OK. Now, it's a little bit confusing, but it's really, really clear to me. You finally see the highlight, even on the background, right? So you know that this is a highlight you can just from here pick the highlights and you paint now for us to be really sure that yes this is the part photoshop is selecting as the highlight what we are going to do we'll come down to the word layer part and the add layer mask button we're going to click on that so that it's going to mask out every other part of the document for us or the photo for us so that we'll, we'll concentrate on what we need so at this point i'm going to create a new layer above and grab the brush tool again which i already select so you can see now that we have the, word, the highlights right here so with the alt key click the sample and just paint right there okay so now that we've done with the highlight just grab the layer mask and you delete it just hit on delete because you don't need the layer mask anymore this is it so now select the word the photo layer again or the image layer go back to select and then color range when you go back there click on that drop down menu and this time around select mid tones now you can see that what most of every part of the image has turned into white the selection or the part which we are selecting hit on ok again and again add the layer mask option select the word the layer which you already have your first color so now this is the word the mid tone that we have here put on the odd key and sample then just come over here and you paint. Now repeat the same process the last time. Just delete the layer mask, delete, select the image layer, select color range, click on the drop down menu, and this time shadows and hit OK. So now add the layer mask again to be precise. So now you can see that we have the shadows here, even on the lips. Doesn't really matter, we can <coughs> really eyeball every other part of leaves so hold on odd hold on odd and then sample from any part of your choice yeah i'm selecting the layer marks i'm sampling from the layer marks that's why it's giving me white black mid gray dark gray and what so on select the layer and then sample from there then you can paint all right so now that we've done with all this i'm going to delete this layer here on delete now okay so i'm going to name this color range um the letter spell color very <laughs> bad color range and this one this is the okay i'm going to name this filter and the last one i'm going to name is eyeball and hit on enter so let's review every layer filter eyeball okay so this is it so what i'm going i'm just going to grab the quick selection the lasso to just highlight this and delete it and hit on ctrl d 
now this is what we have so uh, i already deleted the solid layer which i created so i'm going to create another one like this hit okay and yeah leave it there for now okay so this is what filter eyeball and color range you see just a little bit of slight difference so this is the one we got in the eyeball this is the one we got in the color range and this is what the filter so you can really see the difference this is almost close to this well, this is kind of like a little bit different but these three skin tone can do for you by tweaking this a little bit the way you want it to be so let me give you the easy way to tweak all this skin tone so since i have three layers selected but if you want to work on one layer you can just you can just hit on ctrl u on your keyboard to open up the hue saturation menu for you or you go up to image adjustment and then hue saturation then you select that but since i have three layers and i want to adjust everything at once I'll come down to the solid or the solid color or adjustment layer panel and I'm just going to select the hue saturation. So from here you can just tweak the colors a little bit to give you something you want. I want it a little bit reddish, a little bit of red to add life to the skin tone just like that and you can add more saturation if you want. I'm just going to keep it just like that. You can just play around with this. I'm not really showing you that. I'm just giving you an idea of how to do that so this is exactly what you want now if you wish to pick a lighter a lighter color you can just grab the brush too and then you select anyone just anyone let's make use of this okay this is the eyeball select anyone just like this and in your skin tone palette you just go up a little bit and you've got the word the lighter color so that is it my friend on how you can speak oh, <laughs> of how you can speak that is it, my friend, of how you can pick skin tone inside of Photoshop. Very simple method of how you can pick skin tone in Photoshop to fix your error of skin tone. So, if this video really helped you, don't forget to make use of the subscribe button and not just the subscribe button, ring the bell icon so that you don't miss any new tips and tricks I will be posting every week. So, see you guys in my next video and make sure to have a nice day.